I cannot believe what I'm hearing from the government, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. They are in absolute denial, not just about this report. Over the last six months, there have been not one, not two, but three High Court decisions or tribunal rulings. Um, which have said that the government's actions with regard to PIP, and most recently in relation to severely disabled people transitioning onto UC, are discriminatory and unlawful. They have been made to change. But yesterday, the Minister for Disabled People said in a Westminster Hall debate that there was nothing unlawful or discriminatory about the government's actions. Doesn't this just reflect what the UN called as a disconnect between the lived experience of disabled people and this government's policies? And what is the Secretary of State doing to ensure that the implementation of all her policies recognise these judgments? Here, here. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Again, I would ask the Honourable Lady to read that court judgment because, actually, I'd made the decisions before with the disability premium and, actually, they did not ask for the government to alter that on the severe disability premium. It was not the point of uh, law because we won on that point of law. So I'd ask the lady to read it uh, and, and uh, read it and digest it properly. And again, what I would say, the extra support that we've put in financially to health and disability has been £9 billion to support people. And in the last couple of years, we've got an extra 600,000 disabled people into work. That's what about. We are supporting the most vulnerable and helping more people into work. 3.2 million over that, but also 600,000 disabled people. So stop scaremongering. And should people have difficulties, please will you assist them so they can get the best support they need. That's what people are doing this side of the House, and that are where these figures are reflecting. Nigel Mills. Just to say, is it exceptional to actually take a point forward because normally we come after steps, but as it relates to this, yes, I will take that point forward. I'm, I'm grateful to you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, the uh, Secretary of State, in response to my question, is incorrectly said that the government hadn't been found to have acted unlawfully in relation to universal credit as it applies to severely disabled people. I have looked up this judgment. I was at Court 28 when it was handed down this time last week. And it is absolutely the case that for disabled people transitioning onto universal credit, severely disabled people, the government was found to have acted unlawfully and to uh, discriminatory. I, I appreciate if we, if we could correct the record, Mr Deputy Speaker. Yeah. Like to come back. Uh, because if you read and you were uh, supposedly uh, there at the judgment, then. I, I'm giving the uh, Honourable Lady a get out clause. Um, it's because on many of the points, the government actually won, and it was moving area that it was questioned about, and in that case, how it had uh, impacted on people with severe disability premium. But it was not about the fundamental change which I have done to help half a million disabled people, and that is to now give transitional protection to people with uh, severe disability premium, which is different. Yeah.